I know personally it's hard to get all that stuff inside a website so, or a LinkedIn profile. So open the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I would say maybe something to do with how I grew up. I grew up with a single mom and I saw her, she was in sales. And that was a great career for someone who wanted to go out and be independent and be her own woman. When she was in the 60s, when she graduated from college in the 60s, she was given basically three options for a career. She could be a teacher, she could be a nurse, or she could be a secretary. And that's the story she tells, and I believe it to be true. There's so many from that era that stuck with that. But she said, you know what? I want to try something different. So she sold Mary Kay in the late 70s, early 80s, and really became her own boss. And I was there helping put labels on her makeup and just such a young age. I think I was about four or five years old helping her with that. And she ended up winning that pink Cadillac. Okay. Um, yeah. So I was seeing this at a very young age, how it was that where you could be both a mother and you could be a career woman and you could define your own life and your own path and your own trajectory. That is interesting. Because I remember it was a, a few years ago, I was teaching a class in Dallas and in the same hotel that I was invited to speak at, Mary Kay was having their convention. Mm -hmm. I just started, knew it was happening when I saw all the pink Cadillacs out in the parking lot. <laughs> Well, maybe your mom was there, but um, I was starting to wonder about that because I look at a lot of things. I look at what my dad went through on his way up, you know, mm -hmm. especially when he first got started. And then I also look at what my sister, who's she's still older than you, but she still had some of these battles. And now I look at my daughter and say she doesn't really have those battles, but she does have those battles. Yeah, they're different. Ever, you know, they're different, but we still have them. I was trying to explain to a friend of mine, said, how come there is a no, what is systemic racism and uh, sexism? What is that? You can't even tell me. He's trying to tell me I couldn't define it. I said, if you have to ask me, I, you really can't because if you haven't experienced it, right. you can't. So did your mother share any tips with you to help you break that out of that? Because a lot of, today, I hate to say it, but a lot of women still believe that all they can do is either be a teacher and maybe a nurse. Mm hmm mm hmm I think it was really, she was so busy. And so it was really leading by example. When I was eight years old, I was a latchkey kid. And that's common for many of us in the 80s. Yeah. We grew up so quickly. I felt like I was an adult at <laughs> age eight. Like I just knew all the things I needed to know because she was busy working and providing for us. And so I think it was just the fact that it could be done. But one of the things that I loved about her was mm -hmm. that I saw her really connect with people, oh. look them in the eye, understand who they were, learn about them, learn about their kids, their occupation, and remember it. Right. And that's something that I bring in with me today. So I'm quick to learn names. I'm also quick to connect people with one another. I was just at a conference this past week and I met a woman and she said she was in retail and, and she mentioned L'Oreal. And I was like, have you met the other woman here from L'Oreal? And she yeah, said, I, I don't know who that is. And so I'm like, okay. And it wasn't until the very last evening, I saw both of them in the same room together and I pulled them together and they were like, thank you so much for bringing us together because we didn't know we'd met one another, but we hadn't talked about what we did. So mm. we didn't know we were both from L'Oreal backgrounds. And yeah, so it's just keeping those things in mind. I'm a, an observer of people, observer of their strengths. And I think I bring that into my leadership philosophy.